video behind my shoulder right here is the one that you are watching right now. And as I'm editing this, I'm realizing that this was probably the scariest video I have ever filmed at the farm to date. You've seen a ton of videos on my channel, I'm sure, of this farm. What you're about to witness in this video, none of it makes sense. I'm talking some of the most clear communication with the other side that I have personally ever had in my entire life. And then not to mention, some of the craziest poltergeist activity is literally gonna happen in this video that you're about to watch. So what I'm doing for all of you, instead of cutting the video up a bunch, I'm literally letting this kind of just go uncut and raw. I'm not putting a lot of music behind it because I've, I've you know, you've kind of told me y'all don't like that. This is absolutely effing crazy what I witnessed and what I went through alone at this farm. I got, I, I, I sit here and I laugh because I'm like, this is, this is something that you either see in a movie or you read about in a book or you hear about in local folklore. I'm telling you all right now, the communication and the things that happen in this video, you're gonna be very surprised of. And, and I'm sorry if you don't sleep tonight, not my fault. I'm warning you right now, this is going to send chills down your spine and you will not forget this video. This, this will be a video that you talk about for a very long time on my channel and I, I truly believe whatever I did, which you're gonna see in this video, was a really bad mistake. And it caused a lot of bad things to happen throughout this video. And I hope that you all can enjoy this, but also understand, um, I need you all to comment like crazy. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll this footage for all of you. And also, uh, I, I just have to say, this was a very, very concerning night. Welcome back to the channel. It's your favorite idiot, CJ Face. And then tonight I am taking you back to one of the most highly requested places, the farm, AKA the Pocomoak Ranch. I will tell you this, as you know, on this channel, I'm not gonna post a video unless it's at least 35, 45 minutes long. An hour plus is obviously a really good video. Well, I went to the farm the other night. I got scared out of there within 25 minutes. So what I did was I'm gonna put that Link is down in the description. That's gonna be on my vlog channel. If you have not subscribed to that, that's my second channel. Do that now. Please and thank you. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers. That video there is main channel worthy, 100% main channel worthy. I'm just posting it there because it's a lot shorter of a video. I could have thrown it in this video, but it's really not gonna make a whole lot of sense because tonight I am going to the Pocomoke Ranch. I'm gonna be using the Aztec Death Whistle. I'm here to stir up spirits and push my luck as much as I possibly can. Now, with that being said, I want you all to understand this. Do not try this. This is absolutely crossing the lines of paranormal. A lot of people who I've talked to, uh, paranormal experts at least, they said to never do this. I'm doing this. I have prevented myself from doing this for many, many, many months now. And as you know, I've owned this farm for over a year. This is gonna be one of the dumbest things that I have ever done on this channel. I have no idea what's gonna happen. I have no idea what to expect. But from what everyone says, this is a horrible idea. this is probably the dumbest thing I've ever done. It turns out this is probably the dumbest thing I've ever done. This right here in my hand is an Aztec death whistle. This is something to not play with because you don't really know the true meaning or definition of what this is supposed to do or what it can do and what it involves. Now I am gonna tell you a couple of things. There's four main reasons that scientists basically think what this does. The number one reason was the Aztec tribe back in the day, they thought they were basically blowing into this whistle and it's screaming loud and it makes the enemy think like something crazy is going on, tries to scare them away. Number two, probably not necessarily what I think this was used for, but um, a therapy. They said that, uh, you know, they would give these Aztec death whistles to um, patients who were having like stress or they needed to calm down. I don't know how screaming would actually calm you down. So I'm going to basically say that's probably not what this was used for. And then the third thing, was it was to help spirits pass over. 
So when you had someone dying, and again, I don't know if I was on my deathbed, if I would legitimately want someone screaming or blowing into something that's screaming, sounding like death while I'm dying. So I don't think that's it either. But the fourth one is probably the scariest thing of all. And the fourth is they would blow this whistle during rituals and sacrifices that were going on back in those days. Now, this seems most plausible because we don't really know what went on back there in those days. But one of these whistles was actually found at a ritual site where it looked like they had sacrificed somebody. So that is scary. But the, the, the big rumor with these things is if you take this to a place that is very sadistic, very haunted, very evil, and you were to blow into this whistle, well, a lot of bad stuff is supposed to happen. Now, I'm alone tonight, unfortunately, like I told you in the beginning of this video. And I don't know why, but there's like bugs flying all over the camera, so enjoy that. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and say, uh, RIP headphone users with this thing, this is gonna get rough. So I'm warning everyone right now, I've, I've said this in a couple of videos, if you were watching this video, I would probably pray after. I would probably, uh, you know, get right <laughs> before you go to bed, because this is honestly one of the dumbest things I've ever had the idea of doing. And I've wanted to do this for a long time. None of my friends will do this with me. So here I am on a lonely Tuesday night, and well, here we go. I don't know if I should blow this now or when I get inside of that. That literally sent chills down my body. Okay. Um, if I die and someone sees this footage, please upload it to YouTube. Thanks. I'm slightly concerned to go inside and I'm uh, very scared to see what happens next. You can, you can basically use this outside from what I understand. But when you use this death whistle inside of somewhere, especially somewhere that basically has a portal inside of it, it, I mean, honestly, this may not be the best idea ever. So leave a like on this video if you don't mind. Because um, this might be my last. Who knows? Okay. Welcome back there, Annabelle. Guess what, sunshine? Boy, do I have a surprise for you. Sorry, that tried a little hard. Anyway. All right, spirits of the Pokemon Ranch. If you're a nice one, probably not gonna like what's gonna happen here. If you're an evil spirit, you're probably going to really want to stir some stuff up here. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start this out with a, a, a little bit of some questions, okay? Now, I am going to ask you some very important questions, and this is going to dictate this entire night and how this may or... I have no idea what's going on right now. This is weird. Just move north. Danger. 
Danger. Okay. Um, I was going to ask you questions, but apparently you're just taking this over, so I'm just going to let this roll. Uh, I have a message for you. Okay. W what exactly is your message for me? What's your message for me? Someone is following you. Alright, I'm going to be very honest with everybody watching this video right now. I am creeped. I'm very Patricia. creeped Patricia. Patricia. Is this Patricia? Right here? Is that Patricia? Where is Patricia? Do you say danger is near because I will say Betty. You're gonna stay? Betty, okay. What about what about this whistle right here? Do you know what this is by chance? Hello? Do you know what this is by chance I'm holding it in my hand? Curse. A curse. Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. Children here. There are children here. Alright, how do you feel about that whistle? Revered. Graveyard? Is there a graveyard around here, unmarked grave? Is that, is that what you're trying to tell me? Unskillful. All right, what's that supposed to mean? What if I blow this whistle again? What will you do? Can you make that noise again, but louder for me? Hello? Alright, what are you certain about? Awful. Awful, okay. So this 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 all happening right here, folks, is I'm I'm just I'm just telling you the answers that I just got right off the bat are weird. Really, really, really weird. These candles I have right here, what, what if I were to light those? Headache. Okay, you're thinking I'll have a headache if I light these three candles. Perfect, let's do it. Hey, 
anger. Okay, that, that was ill-timed, but uh, lucky guess. All right, there's one. Dead. Dead. Ow. Where's that noise coming from? Can you uh, make those noises a little louder for me? Oh shit, okay. Um, tell me something else. Why are you making these noises for me? I'm not gonna go chase you like I do every time I come here. You're gonna come to me this time. I'll blow this whistle again. I hope it pisses you off. I really do. You know what I mean? It's kind of like whenever you go to a theme park and you run out of tickets, you're kind of pissed off. You're going to feel that feeling because I'm going to keep blowing into this whistle. Y'all, these three candles right here, completely still. No flutter in the flame. Nothing. Leave. Leave? How about no? How about I stay right here? And I'm not listening to you anymore because I'm not sitting down. How do you feel about that? Tell me how you feel about that. I'm not leaving. I'll be honest with you. I don't. I don't think you have much power. I don't even. I don't even think you're that that great of a, a, a ghost. I, if I were you, I'd be doing a really good job trying to scare me out of here. But false. False. Okay, you don't think I'll be a good ghost? You wait till I become a ghost, and I'm coming after you, and I'm gonna haunt people. I guess I don't know how that works, honestly. Preserves. Preserves. All right. Not really sure what that means, but perfect. All right, I'm getting bored with you here. Should I blow into that whistle again? Okay, what was that? All the clothes are on the floor. Oh my, that's a big mistake. What did that thing say? Hang on. Check out this room first. Heal. Okay. Oh, oh my. Okay. I'm going to have to beep that word out. Um, okay. So, did you harm yourself? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Or did somebody you know try to harm themselves? Like, what, what's the deal with that? Most 
Most likely. Okay. All right. Um, All right. Purring. Like a cat? P U R R I N G? Are you purring like a, a, a putty cat? I tell you, I, I, ever since I blew that whistle, I don't really think you're uh, that big and bad. So, um, scare me out of here. Why don't you? I'm waiting. Right, Annabelle. The last time I took you upstairs, it did not end well for me. It more or less ended well for you. Sorry. Oh, that was weird. Okay, so. Here, Annabelle. Put you over there for just a second. All right, so Annabelle, I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna set you up over here, sunshine. All right, and we're gonna we're gonna ask some questions. Me and all the people watching this video. Okay, I've got the whistle right here. But first, let's turn this thing on, and we're going to talk a little bit, because, um, I'm, I'm starting to believe that, you know, quite possibly, you may not be... Ness. Ness, okay? I don't think you are who you say you are, so I think there's something attached to you that is triggered by you, and we're going to find out. So I'm going to blow this whistle. And uh, we're gonna find out. So, wish me luck. Hope we don't die. Well, you're dead. I'm not. But you get know what I'm saying. Oh fuck that! I don't know why, but something just told me not to blow in this thing. That was the weirdest feeling I've ever felt in my life. Okay, maybe I. Okay, whatever presence is near me right now, I can, I can feel something's off. And I'm, I almost have like a slight headache going on right now. So, you know. Six o'clock. Okay, six o'clock. Somebody in my last video actually was saying when that talker, the spirit talker app is saying a time it means like where you are relatively standing. So six o'clock to me would be directly behind me, which of course has to be you, right? All right, six o'clock. What do you want to tell us? What do you, what do you want? What do you want to? What? Nine. Okay, so six o'clock is was there. Nine would be oh that lovely window right there. That's awesome. Well, let me get the camera over here so I can see that. Oh my god. Do this shit. This is so crazy. Should I look out that window? Is that what you're saying? I'm telling you right now, I'm on the second floor, and if I see a face in that window, I might actually become a ghost with you. I really might. Do I need to do that? Yes, no, maybe so. Ooh, God, that mosquito is the size of Connecticut. Jeez. You want me to look out this window, yes or no? Austin. Austin again? Who in the hell is Austin? What the hell is that? Alright, that's weird.
Is Austin a ghost or a person? Canto, she haunts magic. Don't worry, I'm just confusing everybody watching this video, so don't Shh. worry. Kitchen? You want me to go to the kitchen? All right, fine. Reading. Kitchen, reading. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's books. If I step on these books. Look left. Walk. Walk left. Yo, I I'm I'm just showing y'all like this is crazy. I can't hear you. What are you deaf? I scream loud as hell and you're Talking to me, I'm talking to you. True. You are deaf? God, that backfired on me right there. I'm sorry. I really don't mean to make fun of you like that. Visual. Visual. Alright, visual what? You have a visual at the house. You can see me. Can you see me out this window? Damn, that's fucking creepy. That is so creepy. You have a... My light. The, fuck, the light just died. Can you turn off my light again? Hello. Oh, that's weird. Why are the fire alarms going off all of a sudden? Backyard? Is that what you just said? Backyard? Okay, weirdest thing ever, my camera literally just stopped. Ow! Freaking mosquito ass bitch. God! So freaking weird. Close it. Close what? The doors? The windows? There ain't nothing to close, sunshine.
you lose. How do I lose? My camera like, or this light keeps going off. If you're taking the energy off of this, turn it off one more time for me. Just go ahead and tell me that you know you're, you're trying. Hollow. Hollow. That's weird. My mom just asked if I was okay. I just said yes, why? Weird. All right, so blood, hollow. Hotel. Hotel, okay, sweetheart. I can promise you, you there's never been a hotel here before. Not in this part. Not in this part at all. So I'm not really sure where you're going with this one. Are you making my light flicker right now? Who turned off my camera? And also, who turned off my light? I want to know who turned off the light. Hello? Order. Order. Order in the court. Order in the court. I crack myself up sometimes. Scratch. Though. Scratch. Cat scratch fever. Uh, uh, uh. All right, well. Is Annabelle, is Annabelle. The number six. The number six. All right, hang on. I'm trying to look around if anything has a number six on it. What, what's the significance of number six? Hello? What is the significance of number six? Definitely. I definitely don't understand. Help me out. Overdose. Overdose? I will be here. I will be here, okay. I have no idea what we're talking about right now. I am very lost. Did the cat get your tongue? What's going on? I don't know about you all, but I hate rooms with windows like this, especially when there's light inside and it's dark outside and you feel like there's 40 people staring at you through the room. And then all of a sudden you're gonna sit down and you start freaking yourself out like I'm about to do. I'm already panicking right now, I'm not even gonna lie. When you're alone, you panic over everything. And this is definitely one of those times where you're gonna panic over everything. That's why I'm jabbering at the camera right now instead of trying to sit down. So maybe if I can just talk to you all for about like 10 more minutes like this, I'd be fine. I'm literally kidding. I'm gonna go ahead and sit down now because I'm shitting bricks. So, whew. Oh, I hate this.
All right, Annabelle. I moved you downstairs. We're, we're going to talk a little bit here. Actually, you know what? I don't know why. I film these videos for a reason, so... I'm going to regret that one. Can you tell me, did you like that? I was there. Hmm, you were there. All right, cool, fun. All right, me too. I'm out of here. Um, let me ask you this, okay? Does this whistle even scare you? Does it provoke you? Or do you think I'm an idiot for doing this? <clears throat> what do you think? What's your thoughts? What's the synopsis? Give me your 10 cents. And as I'm looking around, I could have pulled all the blinds down, but there's still windows that would be open. Huh? Mm. Hello? <laughs> this experiment isn't going the way I thought it was going to, to be honest with you. I was kind of hoping to be slammed up against the wall and like possibly possessed by the end of this video and somebody come in and find this camera footage and find me on the ground. But um, yeah, that's, that's not the case right now. Annabelle, you're a little boring tonight, you know? You've not you've not done much. How many fingers am I holding up? Can you see? Probably not. Okay, you probably can't see. Alright, well. That's nice. All right, I'm gonna put my hood up right here. Cause I feel a little bit safer with my hood up. I'm gonna ask the question I don't wanna know. How many people are staring at me right now from outside this window? Or all these windows, I should say. I feel like there's a hundred people. Hello? Truck. Truck, are you are you at my truck right now? saw my reflection. Mm, I, I don't even want to look at the, uh, the windows over there. Like, it's that bad.
All right, you're not very talkative, so I'm just probably going to turn this thing off and um, not talk to you anymore. You have another chance. Tell me something. Where do you want me to go? What do you want me to do? What 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 are you what are you trying to get at here? Okay, the number 10. What 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 has to do with the number 10 in here? Thank you all to everyone who is on Twitter right now. I apparently tweeted earlier and people are just now replying, so thank you. If you don't follow me on Twitter, go do that right now. Um, well, we're going to take a brief intermission while these ghosts try to ramp up activity again. Obviously, me screaming into a whistle is not working, so I don't know what else to do. Mm, mm -mm. I feel like every time that I come here, and this is me not venting, but like just telling you all like everything that I'm feeling. Okay, this room right here, I feel very uncomfortable. I don't like being in here. I'm in here and there's like little to no activity whatsoever, right? You go to the kitchen area, ki the kitchen's just jumping, jumping with activity. It's like a Vegas nightclub at 1 a.m. on a Saturday, like it's bumping. And then you go into the living room where it's just a little bit more mild, but there's some more stuff that goes on. It's like every room has its like thing, right? Or its way, right? Now you come in here, I... I not likely. Not likely. I don't know what you're not likely about. I mean, and then you... Ah! 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 What the fuck? She knows you. She knows who? I'm certain. Broke my phone too. Agonizing. You're agonizing. You took a maniacal. Put the death whistle to you. Gosh damn it. Walk right. Why walk right? You want me to walk that way? I'm not walking that way now, asshole. Smell. Smell. Yes, I will. What the hell just happened? Oh, evil is near. There's glass everywhere. Evil is near. Hospital. Hospital. Poltergeist. Po Poltergeist. Church. What, what if what if I walk right? What am I supposed to see? Retrieve. Retrieve what? Hotel. Hotel. There ain't a damn hotel here. Cynthia, I'd rather, I, can I leave right now? Cause I'm not, I'm not digging this all of a sudden. I, I don't feel like this is a very warm welcome place all of a sudden. I kind of liked it before and I don't anymore. I'm 
I'm, I'm, I'm literally... Move forward. Move forward. Back into that room? Is that what you want me to do? Move forward back into this room? You will have nightmares. You will have nightmares. No shit. Anyone who just experienced that would have nightmares. God, I thought I peed, too. Child. Child? You talking about Annabelle? Because she's not very childlike. Pull it. Pull it? Pull what? You want me to pull pull that door open? On the hill. On the hill. Medium. Do you want me to pull this door open? Shut up. Alright. All right. Why'd you stop talking? I don't like that. Talk to me. Why'd you stop talking? Grace. Grace? Who the hell's Grace? Are you saying it's graceful outside? Should I go outside? Deborah. Deborah's out there? Who the hell's Deborah? Courage. X. That ain't even fucking cool. Courage is my dog's name, and then it said Hex. So, as you just saw, this video got really personal at the end, and Courage, who is now whining, are you alright, bud? You good? Uh, it got real personal there at the end as far as like the hex goes and then courage and all of that. Now, what freaked me out more than anything, and I ended the video right there, and I'm like, I don't necessarily think that this is smart to continue, is because about a month and a half ago, Courage and I were at the farm. We're checking on some things. We're putting batteries in uh, security cameras, and it's broad daylight. It's probably about 2.30 in the afternoon. I'll never forget this. Courage is usually running around the farm, just loves it, having a blast, just being a boxer dog that he is, right? And he's probably about 20 yards from me, and he's over near the uh, shed, in uh, the small shed on the other side near the river. And I look over, and he's cowered down, and he's looking up over at the house. So immediately, I'm looking at what he's looking at. I'm looking over, and I'm trying to see. Well, I'm 20 yards from him, so I walk over there. So I walk over there, and I look over at what he's looking at, which was the house. Now, as I'm looking up, I'm realizing that he's locked in on the upstairs window. Now, mind you, you all have just seen me. I'm having an issue with the exact window that Courage was looking up at. So I don't know what he saw, but at that point, he never left my side. He was freaked out, wanted to get in the truck, like was over it. A dog can sense things that us humans cannot. 
I trust his instincts. I trust his gut. And to be honest with you, at that point where it mentioned courage and hex, I was a little weirded out. I already, I have, I had already had it. I, I should have left 20 minutes, you know, prior to that. But I want to let you all know that that's why I ended the video the way that I did. I, I sincerely apologize that I did not continue. It was one of the best, the absolute best investigations as far as communication-wise I had ever had, ever, at that location at least, you know, the farm. And I, I'm sorry. I truly, I truly apologize. I hope that y'all can forgive me for that. I love you all dearly. Thank you for subscribing to the channel, watching the videos, follow me on all the social media platforms that you do. It means a ton. So without further ado, I love you all so much. I'll see you all in the next video.